The crowd behind it's Sumi now. Ooh. Nice. Sit out drop kick. Sumi is feeling it. You know, Sumi trained here in both professional wrestling and MMA in Massachusetts. Taylor as well. Ooh. Oh God, there's that annoying scream. Just ear piercing, oh my Ugh. goodness. Taylor now, the pendulum has swung her way. Rolls over going for the cover. Whoa. Just a two count there from Paul Turner. One, two, using that bridge. Cover again, one, two, just a two count. And Mandy, I know big event coming up October 29th. Women of Honor on the back of the first ever Women of Honor event in Baltimore back earlier this summer. Women of Honor part two coming back to Baltimore Saturday, I October know. 29th. It's so exciting. I absolutely cannot wait. I don't know who I will be facing yet, but I can assure you the match is going to be great. The show is going to be great. Baltimore fans are amazing, so I'm really, really excited for this. So is Taylor oh, with no. a sidewalk slam. Oh, oh Thunder's going to roll her over. What's she going for? Rolls oh. through. Uh -oh. oh. You've been on the receiving end of this, unfortunately, maybe. Yeah. Variation of the Muda Lock here. It's Poison Paradise. Very dangerous move. Come on, Sumi. Sumi needs to get to the ropes here, Mandy. Just Taylor with that impressive leg yeah. strength, just using the core muscles to it just- It is very impressive, I'll give her that. Wrench the neck. You know, you picked up a victory over Taylor back in Concord, North mm -hmm. Carolina, but it was then that we saw this steel chair for the first time as yeah. Sumi gets to the ropes. She's got to break the hold here. Oh, good, good, good. And that's a steel chair Taylor has incorporated into her arsenal. She's tried to use the, oh, give me a break. Uh, two, Using the middle rope three. to choke Sumi is Taylor. You know, Ian, uh, Taylor's used a steel chair in just about every interaction that we've had at each other. It was a DDT in Manhattan onto a chair. I was just interacting with the fans and she caught me off guard. Charlotte with the chair. Brooklyn with Deanna. She tried to get both of us with the chair. And, and again, in Lockport, New York, the only reason why that team got that match is because she came in with a steel chair, hit me with it, and Havoc got the pin. So. Yeah, well, I was sitting ringside for that, and I saw the circumstances. And I know that you're watching here tonight, mm -hmm. you know, scouting Taylor, because I know you've been petitioning ROH matchmaker Nigel McGuinness for at least one more shot against Taylor Sumi, fighting back here. Charging in. Oh! oh. Savat kick right to the midsection. Yeah, that doesn't feel good, trust Ooh. me. And both women connect with palm strikes. Yes. And like you said, Ian, since day one, when Deanna and I had that match that we launched this division, Taylor Hendricks had to make her presence known. She had to. And it's kind of been since then, you know? Both women back Come to on, her feet. Sumi! Sumi oh. here! Nice. Fighting back with some chops. Ducks the big double axe handle. Ooh, drop nice kick. Sumi off the ropes, here she comes. Big forearm. And Sumi. Woo. She's energized by the crowd here in Lowell. Ace rusher, nice. Wow. Going for the cover, this could be at one, two. Ooh. Oh, man. Taylor finding the reserve deep down. You know, we've talked a lot about Taylor's record. Sumi is one of a kind here in Ring of Honor, and she's going to the top here. She's going for her missile drop kick, I hope. Taylor staggering on Dream Street on her feet. Yes. Oh. Oh. Sit out missile drop kick. Taylor, oh. She, oh, very smart move. I got to give her credit, Mandy. Yeah, that, that was a smart move. I'll give her that. Having the ring awareness and presence to get outside. Oh, but, oh. I think Sumi's going forward again from the oh. She can't oh. be. No. She's got this. She can do this. Sumi oh, fly. Nice. And listen to the crowd in Lowell respond to Sumi. The crowd here definitely loves Sumi. And what a win this would be for Sumi as each woman in the Women of Honor division 
attempts to establish himself as the woman yes. of honor. A I'm confident she'll get her oh. revenge. Oh. oh! Oh! What a head scissor! Both women now, just out of our vantage point here, Mandy, but on the, on the floor here, referee Paul Turner administering the 20 count. I know. I think Sumi's still got this, though. I have confidence. I'm, I'm very, very, very confident she can do this. This is her chance to get that revenge on Taylor, and I think she can still pull this off, so as long as she gets up. And you and Sumi, your friendship goes back many, many years, but we take you back to Philadelphia, the big six-woman Women of Honor tag team match that you guys won. So you have a little bit of a vested interest rooting in this match. Yes, definitely. And Taylor may get back to her feet. Oh, no. Oh, we're Sumi. Come on, Sumi, Whoa. get up. Was that a mistake by Taylor? Rolling Sumi back into the ring before the 20 count? Would she have gotten back in, Mandy? She could have won. But she might be looking for the kill oh. here with that Kiss Goodnight tombstone. Taylor always has something else up her sleeve, so I think she knows exactly what she's doing. And we've seen her anger and her emotion get the best of her in Women of Honor action. This could be a calculated mistake oh. here. Well, that looks familiar. Ooh! The counter from Sumi. Going to the top. I think she's going for her moonsault. Oh! Nobody home. Oh, she's going back into the poison paradise. Oh! Slipping Sumi into Poison Paradise here. The pain inflicting onto Sumi here. If Sumi can just use her legs to get to the ropes. And every time Taylor presses up, ooh, ooh, uh. using the, those legs.